for this past year, I have been drowning in a sea of frustration. I end up feeling like I'm running up a treadmill. Like it's just, I'm putting in this effort and it's just not going anywhere. Even though I have these goals, there's something has been missing. And today I want to talk about the next step, how to take what's missing and fill it in with something that not only gets me to where I'm going, but catapults me there faster than I have maybe perhaps in at least the past 10 years. So I'd love to share this kind of thinking because I think it could be helpful to anybody else who feels frustrated, stuck, and not very proud of where they are in life right now. I want you to join me on my journey as well. Uh, I guess with this change of perspective of how to live your life for the next six months. Two twenty two two thousand twenty two is a freaking awesome date, and that was the that's the date that we're going to go after. That is the goal date. We want to hit this date and reach our goal by then. That is a porcupine, by the way. I have never seen one. That's what's cool about doing things that are out of your comfort zone. I don't know. Just never ran into one. I got close to it and it started getting all spiky. The little things just got on their end. Really amazing little experience. By 2, 22, 22, 22, 22, whatever. Uh, it's gonna be broken down to like more of an online business so I can get away from working for other people. Uh, I wanna get in really great shape and I have a couple other goals that I'm still working on, but having just those two is plenty of work. So but let's just focus on fitness because it's physical, it's easy. We have to break this down into milestones, right? So something like lose 15 to 20 pounds, get a lower body fat percent, have a new diet, have a gym routine. That's the first step. Just want to get these milestones, these checkpoints. These are the, the next biggest thing down from the goal, the top of the mountain to the checkpoints. Oh, here's another guy. Look, let me see, let's see what happens. I'm gonna to walk towards it. <laughs> this is a bad idea, but let's see what happens. Hey, buddy. I'll see you in flare. Hey, mister. I guess it is a porcupine, I don't know. I don't know if it's a porcupine. Maybe it's like a squirrel, I don't know. That milestone and just writing those out is so significant. That's actually what most people don't even do. They have this goal and then they get down to the nitty gritty and they think they can just make it. But you gotta hit these like mediary points. But then after that, you, well, you wanna break it down even further. And this is the how-to. This is what you search for on YouTube. You don't do this before you get to those things. You go through all these milestones how to lose weight. You actually figure out, oh, like lessen your calories, learn about macros. All of this is very significant. And then, so finally we get to the last one, the biggest one for me, the one that I've neglected to ever see before in my life, which is planning. Once we have all these how-tos and everything, it can feel overwhelming, or we can trick ourselves into thinking it's going to be easy. Well, yeah, just go to the gym a bunch of times and eat healthy, it's gonna be fine. That's where I always fail because I'll put in this effort and I'll get really, really excited about something. Then one day everything stops and all my effort starts to wane and I get lazy again. Then I don't, you know, I look myself in the mirror and I haven't worked out for a few days and I'm disappointed. Then I think, oh, I should go to the gym. And all that, it just weighs on you. Eventually you stop going to the gym. And so, I mean, I do. Once I started thinking about the schedule as this magic weapon, it's like, okay, let's schedule all these milestones out. So I can just focus on the milestone and trust the process, which I've never done before. I've never thought of hitting milestones by certain dates. I do this with work, right? So I was like, and how can I be so good at work, but so bad at my life? There's a phrase that says, there's no such thing as completed work, only a deadline. That's kind of how I'm approaching these milestones. Okay, so if I need to lose 20 pounds by this date, how can I divvy that up? How many? weeks is that how many pounds per week you know because you can mess up one day and kind of recover by just getting back on track and be like oh it's not a big deal as long as you hit these milestones at least the best you can and get as close as possible it's i think it's like the thing that i've been missing i feel like this is finally it this is this is a lesson that took me 40 something years to learn is goals are nothing it's x y and z but then you also have to add time into the whole process. Time 
is another dimension which you have to measure. And if you're ignoring that, you're ignoring and just not doing the goal justice. You're just setting yourself up for failure. I hope this helps inspire you to be like, oh, that's how people do it. That's how those people get in like crazy good shape. It's not just how they do it, it's when they do it. You know, those milestones and everything. So I feel like we can all do anything we want. No, there's no limits to anybody. This is a simulation after all. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, do that. And I have a podcast where I just, you know, just say some random stuff like this. Uh, a little more on like the personal development. So don't forget to hit up my podcast. And uh, that's it for today. Okay, peace.